Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Brenda Summers. I'm an independent Sensi consultant. I live in the heart of Mennonite country in southwestern Ontario, Canada. If you checked out my first video on Bring Back My Bars, I did the first 12 cents from the June Bring Back My Bar list and now I'm on to the second. Um, 13 actually. So here's what I have to say. They're cold sniff reviews. They're my opinions, my opinions only. Um, take them for what it is with a grain of salt. But this is what my nose is smelling today. It may not be the opinion of yours. Just because I don't like something, you may like it. So here we go. The next scent, the 13th scent, is Fuzzy Blanket. It's a nice lavender purple rat wax. I've heard good reviews about this. We'll see what my sniffer has to say about it today. Wow, I really like this one. Very fresh, very sweet. I smell like a floral kind of vibe. Very welcoming. Definitely something I would want to cozy up to in a cold or if cold winter's day. It does remind me of fuzzy slippers. So yeah, definitely I do get that. It does evoke that fuzzy blanket kind of cozy comfy feel. So that's fuzzy blanket. We will see what Sensi has to say about fuzzy blanket. Soft lavender. I could see that. I didn't pick it out though. Sandalwood. I couldn't smell sandalwood. And sweet honeysuckle. So that's where you're getting the sweetness from. So I really liked that combination actually. And hopefully uh, upon warming, I might find that the scent notes come out a little bit more prominent. But on cold, I could smell the lavender. Not that my nose could pick it out. I could smell the sweetness. And it does evoke, when upon smelling it, that fuzzy, warm kind of feeling. So a definite yes for me. Thumbs up. So that's fuzzy blanket. So one for one so far. Grape Granita. Here we go. It's a lovely, deep purple wax. Um, to me, this might smell like grape pop. I don't like grape pop. Well, I do like grape pop, but not really. It's not one of my favorites. I don't like grape popsicles. I don't like grape candy, but I'm keeping an open mind and we'll see what Grape Grenada has to offer us. Whoa, punch in your face, grape. I smell like a floral vibe. I don't know why you would want floral and grape together. Reminds me, though, of a great popsicle, to be honest. Whew. Yeah, overpowering grape. Great popsicle. That's all I get from this. I'm sorry. But anybody that loves grape granita, I don't particularly like this one. It's going on my no pile. All I get is an overwhelming smell of grape. So we will see what Sunsi has to say. Grape and floral. That's kind of weird. So sun warms grapes. Pineapple. I definitely don't get the pineapple. I get the sweetness. And undertones of pineapple. So I got floral. And I got overwhelming um, scent notes of grape. So there you have it. Grape Grenada. Not a favorite of mine. Happy birthday. This is such a popular one. When people think of it, they refer to it as um, Funfetti Cake. When I first smelt it last year, all I smelt was overpowering sugar and cake hit my face and I really didn't care for it. So I'll keep an open mind and see what my senses or my nose has to say about it today. Okay, definitely get that cake. I don't get Funfetti. I get like a chocolate. I get like a marble kind of vibe from it. 
I get kind of like a whipped creamy icing frosting. Very sweet though. I don't mind the chocolate. I don't mind the marble uh, cake kind of smell. I don't get funfetti from it. To me though, this is really, really sweet. So I don't like it. I don't hate it. I think I would have to mix it with something to tone it down. So it's going on my fence pile. So that's happy birthday. Not a love of mine right now. So we will see you upon warm. What does Sensi have to say about happy birthday? Sweet, rich frosting, sparkling sugar, fluffy white cream, and warm vanilla. Um, yep. I would have to agree with Sensi's description. You could probably smell all those. I smelt the creaminess. I smelt like frosting. I smelt like cake, but not funfetti. I smelt like a marble cake. I smelt chocolate. So those are the scent notes that I picked up with my nose. So if you like that combination, you're going to love Happy Birthday. I just am on the fence about it because I'm not one for sweet, sweet scents. So let's go on to Hemingway. Hemingway is a kind of a purpley kind of um, wax. And we will see what my nose have to, has to say about Hemingway. Okay, I'm getting that cloney kind of vibe. Kind of rich, kind of woodsy kind of kind of thing, crisp. Okay, I'm on the fence about it. I don't like it, I don't hate it, but there's something that's throwing my nose off. I really like Echo much better than Hemingway. To me, this is not a love, not a hate. We'll see you upon warming. So we'll put it on my fence pile. So that's Hemingway. What does Sensi have to say about Hemingway? Ripe apples. I do not get ripe apples. Warm, woody accents. I do get the woody. I do get the deep earthiness. Um, sandalwood, cedar, and hints of spice. I do get the spice. I didn't really necessarily get the sandalwood. And I could see where there's a bit of cedar in there. I don't normally gravitate towards those scents. Like I said, I prefer Echo much better than the Hemingway, but we'll see upon warming. So it's not a like, it's not a dislike. We'll see. So <laughs> that's Hemingway. Um, next on the agenda is Jumpin' Jelly Bean. What I think about this is jelly beans. I'm hoping it doesn't smell along the lines of the Jelly Belly collection. To me, that was really hit your hit you in the face kind of candy it smelled like jelly bellies and I didn't really want my house to smell like jelly bellies but I must admit I did like sizzling cinnamon from that collection I didn't mind toasted marshmallow or the marshmallow from that collection but the other three the tutti frutti the the pear and the jelly belly apple I, I didn't care for if I had to choose between Tutti Frutti, Apple, and the Juicy Pear, I would have picked Juicy Pear, but no, just was not for me. So we'll see what Jumpin' Jelly Bean has to offer. I have smelt it before. It's sweet. It smells like a jelly bean, but it's really different. So we will see what my sniffer has to say today about Jumpin' Jelly Bean. Wow, I really like this one. Very fruity, very fresh candy smells like a jelly bean but overwhelming pear smell really really like this one wow for a sweet candy kind of jelly bean vibe i'm surprised i really get the prominent pear out of this one so i really like this one this is going in my i like pile and we'll see upon warming how it changes and what it smells like. But if it smells anything like it does on cold, 
I'm going to love this one. So Jolly Jumpin' Jelly Bean. So here's what Sensi has to say about Jumpin' Jelly Bean. Crisp pear. I could smell that. Apple. I could see it being in there, but I just couldn't smell it. All I could smell was the crisp pear. Zesty lemon. Okay, I could see that. And sugar. I could definitely smell the crisp pear, the sweetness, the sugar, the lemon, not so much. And the apple, not so much. But maybe upon warming, it'll come out, those scent notes. So, Jumpin' Jelly Bean. So, we're two, two, and one so far. So, let's move on. Pink Haze. It's a pretty light pink. It's a popular one. I know. I've heard reviews about it. I'm not so sure I'm going to like it. To me, it's more on a, a sweet vibe. But we'll see what my nose has to say about Pink Haze. Yeah, definitely the sweetness. I get some berries from it. Um, to me, it's a clean kind of scent. But yeah, I get an overwhelming um, sweetness, like sugar. I do get a little bit of floral. I don't know why. And I get berries. So that's what I'm getting from Pink Haze. I'm really not a fan of it. it it's too sugary. I'm actually going to put it on. I don't like pile. But don't go by me. That's just what I prefer. And a lot of people love Pink Haze. So we'll put it on. I do not like pile. But we'll see what Sansi has to say about Pink Haze. Sweet confectionate of berries. Yes, I got that. Nectarines I didn't pick out. Vanilla laced whipped cream. That's probably where I'm getting the sugar from. And nestled in marshmallow fondant. So that's where I'm probably getting the overpowering, like sugary, sugariness from it. Um, to me, it's really, really sweet. And I really don't gravitate towards this, the sweeter scents. So if you're a person that loves sweet, loves berries, loves nectarines, you're going to love this one. I particularly do not like it. So next is Rio Beach. Um, when I think of Rio Beach, I think being on a beach, on the sands, suntan lotion. So we'll see what Rio Beach has to offer today. It's along the same lines as beach. A little bit... Lighter I, I get from it, I, I do get that beachy vibe. Something's a little bit off-putting to me. I much prefer beach over this one. Don't hate it, don't love it. Many people do like Rio Beach. I'm on the fence about it, so I will reserve my opinion until I warm it, but on cold, it's not a hate. It's not a dislike. It's going on my fence pile. So that's real beach. We'll see what Sunsi has to say about it. Scent of sun, surf, and sand. I get the sand vibe from it. Samba, coconut. I do get some of the coconut. Tropical fruit. I get the tropical, tropical um, fruitiness to it. Not necessarily the tropical fruit. And tonka bean. I don't necessarily get the tonka bean either. To me, it reminds me of like a copper tone commercial way, way back in the 70s or early 80s where the dog was pulling down the little kid's um, pants. It was a copper tone commercial. I don't know if anybody remembers that one, but to me, that's what this reminds me of Rio Beach. So if you're like, if you like a suntan lotion kind of um, vibe, then you'll like Rio Beach. Like I said, I'm on the fence until I, I warm this one. So it's on my, on my fence pile. So next is Route 66. It's uh, kind of pretty green. So we'll, we'll see what Route 66 has to offer today. Clean, fresh. 
very pleasant. I don't know why I want to say sugar all the time. Sweet. I kind of get like a, I don't know why, a cologne. But not an overpowering cologne. So I can't really pick out any scent notes other than it's clean, it's fresh, kind of sweet, kind of clony. And that's what my nose has to say about Route 66. It's not a like, it's not a dislike. I'm on the fence about it. So once I warm it, I do find it a bit light. So my nose is kind of going back and forth, trying to figure out what exactly is in here. So we'll see what Sensi has to say. Route 66. Breeze of citrus, herbs, and musk. So I didn't necessarily pick out the citrus. I picked out the clean. I picked out like a sugary herbs I can see. And the musk is where probably the cologne vibe is coming from. So a man's aftershave is probably what I would think of, of this being on the lighter side. I still like Echo the best out of the manly scents that I have tried in this collection. But like I said, I'm on the fence about it until I warm it. So this is Route 66. Not a hate, not a dislike, just on the fence. Sorry, guys. And I just knocked over my camera. What else is new? <laughs> okay. Um, let's get set back up. And let's go. On to Simply Rose. I'm looking forward to this one. Simply Rose is a floral. So we'll see what my nose has to say about it. Wow, I'm such a floral person that I'm so happy with this one. Wow, it just reminds me of being in a rose garden. All I smell is rose. Love it. I love roses. I love being in a rose garden. Strong. I'm hoping it's a powerhouse when it's warmed. But I'm very, very pleasantly surprised by this. Yay, Sensi, you did Simply Rose right. So Simply Rose, we'll have to see what Sensi has to say about it. But of classic floral fragrance. Exactly. Nothing but floral. So if you're a floral lover and you love roses, you're going to love Simply Rose. If you don't like smack me in the face kind of scents, and you're on the fence about florals, this is not for you. So, yeah, Simply Rose. Next one is Southern Evening. This one evokes someone sitting on a swing on a porch, drinking some iced tea. That's what I think of when I hear Southern Evening. It's a pretty dark blue wax, so we'll have to see what so what I I think. And then we'll see what Sensi has to say. Very pretty. Delicate. But rich. Very fresh. Very clean. Something really deep. Dark. I really can't pick out the scent notes. But my nose loves it. So, yay, Southern Evening. I like it. I just can't pick out the scent notes. So we'll put it on my like pile and we'll see what Sunsi has to say about it. French Lavender. Okay, I can see that. Geranium. Maybe that's where I'm getting the deep darkness to it. But I don't per se think of geranium when I smell it. Subtle Fruits. I can see that. And White Musk. And ever slightly white musk or a musky kind of vibe towards the end, but not overpowering. I really don't like musk that much, but I do like this one. So Southern Evening. 
Um, sugar is next on our list. When I think of sugar, all I'm going to think about is sweetness. So we'll see what my nose has to say about it. Definitely sweetness. Sugar. I don't know why I keep thinking it's clean. Sugar and clean. That's all I get from this. It's not a favorite. Sorry for anybody that loves sugar. Will love this. It's sweet. It's crisp. It's fresh. It's light. Well, not really light, light, but it's overpowering with sugar. So we'll see what Sunsi has to say about it. Fruity blend of lemon drops and can cotton candy. I didn't pick the lemon. I could see where it's like drops. And cotton candy is probably the sugar vibe from it. So if you like those components, you're going to love sugar. Next is my favorite. And I'm glad that it's been brought back is thunderstorm. When I think of thunderstorm, I think of crisp, cool breeze, that wind, the darkness, the mysteriousness. So we'll see about what my nose has to say about thunderstorm. I get like a, a floral. I get a sweet a sweetness, a very fresh, pleasant scent. Um, definitely, uh, my nose really loves it. It's a powerhouse upon warming. I can put one cube in and it will last a couple days, if not longer, um, in a larger and warmer it lasts longer so I definitely I like a recommendation um, summer rain is along the same lines as some thunderstorm I think of it as its little sister it's not as strong as thunderstorm it's on the lighter um, side of thunderstorm so if you ever get a chance to, to try summer rain when it comes back um, give that a try if you find thunderstorm to be too strong but thunderstorm is a favorite of mine and will always be in my sensi club so that's thunderstorm we will see what sensi has to say about it a refreshing sharp spicy outdoor fragrance like a breeze in a storm and i agree um there is kind of a sharpness but i find a floral i find it um Sweet, not overly spicy. Um, manly comes to mind as well. Um, a definitely favorite of mine. So, thunderstorm. And last but not least, number 25 is white sands. It's like a pretty creamy off white. To me, the Steve Oaks being on a beach, being in that white sandy part of the world warm tropical uh, we will see what white sands says to my nose definitely a suntan kind of vibe that beachiness that clean fresh crisp Um, yeah, that's all I get from it. Suntan, sweet, beachy kind of vibe. So we'll see what Sunsi has to say about it. Night Blooming Jasmine, softened by coconut milk. I could smell some coconut milk. It wasn't overpowering. Rice, I didn't really get from it. Enveloped in a gentle breeze. Well, I could see that. Um... I'm on the fence about this one. So until I warm it, I prefer beach over this one. It's lighter than beach. Beach is a powerhouse um, on cold compared to this one. So this is going on my fence pile. So out of them, 
Um, my likes and my favorites are Thunderstorm, Southern Evening, Simply Rose, Jumpin' Jelly Bean, and Fuzzy Blanket. My on the fence scents are White Sands, Route 66, Rio Beach, Hemingway, and Happy Birthday. And my dislikes, and I probably won't warm them, sorry, but I just didn't like sugar. I didn't like pink haze. And I did not like Grape Granita, only because they're really on the sweet, sweet side. And I'm not one for really sweet, sweet fragrances. Mind you, I do have a few sweet fragrances in my um, like and on my fence pile. So I'm kind of surprising myself with those fragrances. We'll see once they're warmed, how I feel about them. Um, so that really wraps up. The 25 Bring Back My Bar favorites from the fans. Thank you very much for spending the last 27 minutes almost with me. I appreciate the fact that if you made it to the end of this video, uh, much appreciate it. Um, this is all new to me. So I hope someone got something from this review. Um, if you like what I have to offer, just give my video a thumbs up. If my channel is something that you think that you will like in the future, please subscribe to me. Um, any other details are in the comments down below. If you have a comment about a favorite scent that you love and bring back my bar, please comment below. If you have any advice, that you would like to share with me on how to make my videos better or an advice on a scent or a scent mix. I would love to hear from you. Um, before I go on and on and on, thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with me. I hope to get to know everybody each and every day. And thank you so much. Take care. And we'll see you in my next video. Thank you.